Hey, this is Mr. Perez. We're continuing on with lines, actually linear systems, actually applications of linear systems, which basically means word problems. Charlie's favorite. Now, Charlie gets very uh, anxious when he hears the word word problems, so we'll, not, we'll try not to use the word word problems so much, so that way, you know, he'll be relaxed. So anyway, let's see what Charlie's up to. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Huh? You ready to do some word problems? Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. We're doing word problems today. So, let's get to work. Remember, word problems. They're oh. not a, a lot of fun, are they? All right, let's go. Okay, here's our first word problem here. Oh. Now, <coughs> at the end of the day, cashier has a total of 103 one and five dollar bills. Write this down, Charlie. Should be in your workbook. The total value of the money is $415. How many bills of each denomination does the cashier have? Remember, denomination simply means the bill value. Like, for instance, the denomination of a $5 bill is $5. The denomination for a $20 bill is $20. Okay, so let's go on here. And uh, don't be laughing at my pictures either. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. We have ones and fives, okay, and we have 103 total bills, okay, and the total bill value is $415, okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and construct a table. Okay, there's our table there. Now, we got to fill out the table. So, on our column here, okay, what kind of bills do we have, Charlie? Ones and fives. Ones and fives, so we'll go ahead and list that, and that gives us our total. Okay, now, our first column, Charlie, if you remember the coin problem, our first column was number of coins. So here, our first column will be what, Charlie? Number of bills? Number of bills, which is bill, number of bills, correct. Now, what's our next column? Bill value. Bill value, and then our last column will be what, Charlie? The total value. Total value, just like before, just like with the coins, okay? Now, when we did those problems before, the coin problems, we were only able to handle one variable. And now, because we have been dealing with linear systems, X and Y's, right, we can deal now with two variables. So, now we can say, okay, we want to find the number of ones and the number of fives, so we're going to let the number of ones be what, Charlie? X. That's right, X, and the number of Y, number of fives, Y. Y, and the total value is 103. Okay, Charlie, what's the bill value for a 1? A 1. One dollar. Very nice. What's the bill value for a 5? Five? 5. 5 dollars. Very good. Now, just as before, okay, remember our pattern. This times this will give you that. Number of bills times the bill value will give you the total value. So, what's the total value for the 1's, Charlie? X, and for the fives, what's the total value? 5Y. 5Y, and what's the total value for the all the bills all together? 415. $415, that's correct. Now remember, we're not using this, uh, there's no bill value for the total, okay? Because there, there's a, only a, a number of bills total and a total value for the, all the combined bills. So that's why that box is crossed out, just like with the coin problems. Okay, Charlie, we can eat now. Linear systems, we always had two equations. We need two equations because we have two variables, and with two equations we can solve for those two variables. So, here we go, Charlie. Number of bills is what? X plus Y. Okay, I'm sorry, the equation that we get from the number of bills is what, Charlie? The number of ones plus the number of fives has to equal how many bills, Charlie? 103. 103, so that gives us our equation. X plus Y equals 103. Now, the total value from the ones plus the total value from the fives equals the total value of all the money. So what's our equation from that one? X plus 5y equals 415. X plus 5y equals 415. Very nice. Okay. So now, here's our linear system. We'll go ahead and list our equations right here. X plus 5y equals 415 and X plus y equals 103. Now, this problem is not that tough. We have a linear system here. Now, Charlie, we're going to use elimination because we don't want to graph these lines, right? We're going to use eliminations. Now, the top equation has 1x. The bottom equation has 1x. 
So what do we do, Charlie? Add or subtract these two? Subtract. Subtract. That's right. So the x minus x will be 0. So that will be 0. Nothing cancel. Now, what's 5y subtract y, Charlie? 4y. 4y. Very nice. And the right-hand side, 415 subtract 103. You should be able to do it. What do you get? 312. 312. Very nice. Okay. Now, to solve for y, we divide both sides by what, Charlie? 4. 4. 4 is cancel. Now, you got to do 312 divided by 4. So go, Charlie. Tell us what you get. 78. 78. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, now, we now have the y value. Now, let's go back. Remember, since x plus y was 103, because remember, there were, um, there were some 1s and there were 5s, and the total number of bills was 103, which means x plus y had to equal 103, okay? And since that's true, we can now solve for x by substituting in y equals 78, our result, okay? This would be a, this is a little bit easier to do than to try to go ahead and eliminate the y values, okay? So we're going to substitute in our y value of 78, okay? x plus y is 103, so we plug in the 78 for the y value, okay? Now, Charlie, how do we solve for x? Subtract 78. Subtract 78 from both sides, okay? So bring down your bar, remember, 78, subtract 78 is 0, so those cancel there. What's on the left-hand side, Charlie? X. That's right. And the right-hand side is what? 25. 25. Don't forget to put your equal sign in there. So equals 25. And so that means X equals 25 and Y equals 78. And remember, our result is that there are 25 $1 bills, 25 ones and 78 $5 bills. And obviously, if you were to add up all the bills, you should get 103. And if you calculated your total value, you should end up with 400 and $15. Very nice. Don't forget to circle your answer. Okay. Now we're going to go to the candy store problem. Okay. All right. <clears throat> A candy store manager wishes to blend candy, candy blah, selling for $1.20 per pound with candy that sells for $1.50 per pound to get a candy mixture that will sell for $1.35 per pound. So you're taking two different candies and you're mixing them all up together okay, to make this mixture of candies, a blend. So there's two types of candy in, what, in this little package that you're buying. Okay. Now it says how many pounds of the $1.20 per pound candy and the $1.50 per pound candy should be used to get 10 pounds of the blended candy mixture. Okay, so don't be laughing at my candies, Charlie. <laughs> There we go, there's candy one. And here comes candy two. There we go, there's my candy up there. All right, so uh, candy one costs $1.20 per pound and candy two is $1.50 per pound. So we're gonna mix those together to make this blended candy right here, this blended candy mixture that's $1.35 per pound. And remember, we want 10 pounds of that blended candy mixture, okay? So let's go ahead Okay, here's our candies right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring out the table. There we go. Now, we have, we have uh, candy number one, which we'll list in our first row, candy two in our second row, and the blended candy in our third row. Okay. Now, here we're dealing with number of pounds of candy because we're trying to find out how many uh, pounds of candy one do we need to mix with uh, candy two to get 10 pounds of a blended candy, okay? And so, just as before, we need to figure out what times what equals what. So, we take the number of pounds and if we multiply by cost per pound, Charlie, that should give us a what? Total cost. A total cost, okay? So here's our uh, equation for this problem. Number of pounds times the cost per pound will give you the total cost. That makes sense because, um, see, um, suppose you want you bought 10 pounds of candy and the candy was $2 per pound. How much would you pay at, at the register? 
You're going to buy 10 pounds of candy. It costs $2 per pound. So 10 times 2 is $20. So you'll pay $20 for those uh, 10 pounds of candy. So just what we just said was number of pounds times the cost per pound gives us the total cost. Okay. Now, we're trying to find how many pounds of candy one and candy two that we need to mix together to make 10 pounds of the blended candy. So, we're going to let X be the number of pounds for candy one, and candy two, we're going to let that be what, Charlie? Y. Y, very good. And how many pounds of the blended candy do we have, Charlie? 10. 10. So, we'll go ahead and put the 10 there. Now, cost per pound. Well, we were given the cost per pound of candy one, candy two, and the uh, blended candy. What's the cost per pound for candy one, Charlie? Dollar twenty. Dollar twenty. So we put in one point two zero for candy two. Dollar fifty. One point five zero. And then for the blended candy, what's the cost? Dollar thirty five. One point three five. Very nice. Okay. Now we're ready to get our total costs. Okay. What's our total cost for candy one, Charlie? One point two zero. One point two zero x. You don't have to put the zero if you don't want to. Okay, for candy two, what is it? Total cost. 1.50Y. 1.50Y. Now, for the blended candy, Charlie, we have 10 times 1.35. And what is that, Charlie? 13.5. 13.5, yes. 13.50 or 13.5. Okay, very nice. So, yeah, Charlie, what's our equation from this first column? Okay. Candy one, number of pounds of candy one plus number of candy pounds of candy two must be ten. So what's your equation? X plus y equals ten. X plus y equals ten. Now, the total cost, the total cost from candy one plus the total cost from candy two must equal the total cost of candy in the blended mixture. So Charlie, what's our equation? 1.20x plus 1.50y equals 1350. Very nice, Charlie. 1.20x plus 1.50y equals 13.50. Okay, now there is our system of equations. So let's go ahead and list our equations. Now, notice we have 1.20x plus 1.50y equals 13.50. We don't like having decimals, so we want to do what, Charlie? Clear them out. Clear the decimals. Well, to clear these decimals, Charlie, we need to multiply both sides by what here? Be careful. We only need to multiply both sides by a what? <coughs> 10. By 10, because we only need to move those decimals to the right one time. So, okay, multiplying both sides by 10, Charlie, we know we're going to distribute. So tell me, Charlie, what's the equation going to become? 12x plus 15y. 12x minus 15y equals 135. Oh, very nice, Charlie. Okay. So that's our first equation. Now, we're going to move on to our second equation, which was x plus y equals 10. Now again, okay, we have a 12x in the first equation up there, and we only have 1x here. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate the x's, which means we're going to change the x's in this x plus y equal 10 to be 12. So how do we do that, Charlie? Multiply both sides by 12. Multiply both sides by 12. Very nice. Distribute on the left-hand side, and you get what, Charlie? 12x plus 12y equals 120. 12x plus 12y. Very good. Okay. So we'll go ahead and list our two equations up there. Okay. There they are. And notice, we have a 12x up there and a 12x down here. They're both the same sign. So what do we do, Charlie? Add or subtract these equations? Subtract. We do subtract. Okay. So those 12x's. 12x subtract. 12x is 0. So those are gone. Now, what's 15y subtract 12y, Charlie? 3y. 3y. And what's 135 subtract 120, Charlie? 15. 15. Very nice. Okay. Now we got to solve for y. So what do we do to both sides to solve for y, Charlie? Divide by 3. Divide both sides by 3. Very nice. The 3's cancel. And so what do we get, Charlie? y equals 5. y equals 5. And if that's true, remember, x plus y had to equal 10. Well, if y came out to be 5, Charlie, then x must also be what? 5. 5, because 5 plus 5 is 10. Okay? And so, we'll summarize our solution here. Our final answer is that 
We will mix five pounds of candy one with five pounds of candy two to get 10 pounds of mixed candy that costs $1.35 per pound. And with that said, that completes these word problems. Oh. We'll come back at another time and do some more word problems. Oh. oh, what fun. Everybody likes word problems. Anyway, we'll see you all next time. Word problems. <laughs>